It's making an early morning murder arrest. 27-year-old Morgan Barnheel taken into custody and booked into Metro around 8 this morning. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, we have a lot of lingo here that you guys might not be accustomed to. And I want you guys, the, the mods and everything, you know, you can fill people in on what it means covertly, you know. And um, when they ask in the comment section, especially in the live chat. Um, and one thing we talk about here is glider privilege. Glacier glider privilege. And this is what Glacier Glider Privilege looks like. So according to people like Oprah Winfrey, even this guy has more privilege in America than she does. Which is disrespectful to the rest of us son people. And offensive. It just really tells you what she thinks of us. If she thinks that this guy has more privilege than her, the richest woman in the country. Second richest. Now that Jeff Bezos got divorced. But think about that. Making an early morning murder arrest, 27-year-old Morgan Barnhill taken into custody and booked into Metro around 8 this morning. Barnhill is accused of hitting 25-year-old Etienne Murray over the head with a shovel early Tuesday morning. Etienne died yesterday from his injuries. Detectives say the victim and Barnhill knew each other. According to MPD, Barnhill intentionally misled investigators about what happened, even calling them to report it as an attempted burglary at the home in Tillman's Corner. This is still an active homicide investigation. Barnhill remains in Metro Jail. He has a bond hearing scheduled for Monday. Back here in the Port City, the parents of a murder victim are speaking out after their son was killed with a shovel to the head. Etienne Murray died from his injuries on Friday. His mother now pleading to help stop the violence. Fox News' Lacey Beasley met with the family today, and Lacey, uh, I know they're heartbroken. They are, Lee. They're absolutely devastated. Their son Etienne was transported to a local hospital for treatment. His family by his side all week, and they shared with us a picture from the hospital bed. And we do have to warn you, it is graphic. Bandaged and... Okay, so this brother... I mean... Yikes. Um, horrible what happened to this brother. Um, terribly, terribly beaten. I mean, beaten, beaten. Um, with a shovel by a glider. And I tell you guys to send me this stuff when you find it. I scoured the internet for this. And I found this one on my own. But I need you guys to send me these. Because apparently this is happening every day, all day. And this is the biggest threat to sun men in America. Yet, I scour the interwebs for this type of stuff. And I rarely ever find it. Most that I find are actually... What this guy lied to the police about. Home invasions. Or someone catching. You know. A sun man in their car. Or something like that. Or a sun man robs a store. And the owner shoots him. But in this case. It wasn't any of that. It appears that the sun man. Was not in the wrong wrong wrong. So we'll see where this goes. Bandaged and bruised. This picture shows 25-year-old Etienne Murray suffering from a traumatic brain injury, bleeding and swelling. 
fighting for his life from a hospital bed before taking his final breath on Friday. What led him there? Tuesday, he was hit in the head with a shovel in the 4300 block of Windy Hill Circle East in Tillman's Corner. According to Mobile Police, the suspect, Morgan Barnhill, said Murray was an intruder breaking into his shed, so he slammed him in the head. Though that story unraveled when detectives say they discovered several inconsistencies. According to Murray's mother, Barnhill was friends with her son. And Etienne was invited over for a barbecue. That's when... I thought we was the only ones that could invite them to the barbecue. Now they invite us to the barbecue. I guess no matter what group you belong to, that barbecue invite is very dangerous, man. <laughs> he got invited to the glider barbecue and ended up dead. <laughs> wow. According to Murray's mother, Barnhill was friends with her son, and Etienne was invited over for a barbecue. That's when Barnhill accused him of stealing a purse, then proceeded to strike him. So after he beat my baby, he left him there, didn't call for help, didn't try for help. If he would have called for help, maybe my baby would still be here. Barnhill is charged with murder and still sits in Metro tonight. Meanwhile, a mix of emotions for the victim's family, heartbroken over their loss and anger toward their son's suspected murderer. I want him to know that he has shattered my world. He took my baby, and he didn't have to do that. If he, had, if he feels like my child took something from him, why not call the police? Why not handle it the right way? Why take the cow away out and beat my head, my child's head about? Whoa. Now, this, this mom's plea is touching me. And I totally sympathize with her. And in her moment of travail and heartache, I want to make sure that I make that absolutely clear. That my sympathies go out to this mom, this sister. But sister, you guys are sending mixed messages. You're telling the glider to call the police now? Tell us something like this one right here, this Central Park Karen one. I did a video on that. I broke it down to a bionic compound. I'll put the link to that in a pinned comment in the chat. Make sure you check out that video. You will be shocked at what really went down in Central Park between Christopher Cooper in Central Park Karen. The bird watcher versus the Karen. You'll be shocked at what really went down. But this there's a whole cottage industry on this app <laughs> called YouTube. Videos railing against gliders for calling the police on sun people. And the glide is always wrong. They didn't have to call the police on the sun person. They just did it because of their race. It wasn't, it had nothing to do with them thinking anything. Was The person was doing anything or that the argument had escalated. It was simply because the person was a sun person. Okay, look at this title. Being black in America when performing everyday activities triggers 911 calls. This is 
just on this app. You don't have to go any further. Just on this app, there are thousands of videos. Thousands. People railing on white people for calling the police. Railing on them. Even to the point where a law was passed in certain states. Make it a crime for a glider to call the police on a sun person. And if the police get there, let's just say I'm a glider. And I call the police and say, this sudden man's trying to stab me to death. And police come and you hear the sirens and the sun man throw the knife down a storm drain. Please get there and be like, oh, yeah. where's the knife? We don't see any knife. Somebody like, I ain't, man, he's lying. Now, gliders can go to jail for that now. Okay? <laughs> All right? You can go to jail for that, man. In, in many places. So that's why I'm asking this mom. And I'm asking you mom. Miss Murray. Mother of Etienne. Your son who you loved. And I'm. I just want to know sisters. What is it? Which one is it? If Gladys called the cops, then it's, they always, glider fragility, glider tears, glider privilege. They called the cops and we going to get killed. That, that's risking my life. You putting my life in danger by calling the cops. All this crap that some people like to peddle with. That gliders are stupid enough to believe. And I'm for this. Gliders, call the police. If you because if you have a incident, an argument, a minor dis disruption, disturbance, dispute, quarrel. Dust up, tiff, row with a sun man. That thing can turn deadly quick. I mean, on a pivot. So, so I would encourage all gliders to call the police in cases like this. Even though in this case. The glider was wrong. It appears. And I encourage Sunman. Well, Sunman ain't calling the police on other Sunman. But, because we got a code, you know, street code. But, if you're in a situation where you can, it's, call the police, man. victim's family heartbroken over their loss and anger toward their son's suspected murderer i want him to know that he shattered my world he took my baby and he didn't have to do that if he had if he feels like my child took something from him why not call the police why not handle it the right way why take the car away out and beat my head, my child's head about and leave him there. But... And leave him there. Through the gut-wrenching pain, Gail pleads for this violence to stop. I don't even want anything bad to happen to him as far as I don't want him to die because I don't want any other mother feeling the pain that I feel right now. 
No mother should have to bury her child, especially to senseless violence like this. Wow. She doesn't even want him to die. She doesn't she says she doesn't want anything to happen to him. I'm sure she that she misspoke. I'm sure she wants him to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But she, I guess she doesn't want him to get the death penalty. Wow. Salute to this mom, man. Um now if the wokely wokes on Twitter and um Facebook and YouTube, TikTok get a hold of this one, man. I don't think they know about it, man. I don't think they even know about this one yet. Now, this is just something I I have to say this, man. If this is a true representation of their son, you know, he was walking around in suits and whatnot. A fresh haircut, you know, nice smile, good looking kid. If this is who he was the day he died, what in God's green earth was he doing hanging around with Morgan Barnhill? And not to blame the victim. That's just an odd couple, man. Okay. Perfect Strangers, man. That was one of my favorite shows, man. Back in the old early days of TGIF, man. Perfect Strangers, man. Balky. <laughs> this is this these guys are this is this is a perfect strangers, man. What the hell going on? Why are these two hanging out, man? Unless, of course. This is not an accurate an accurate portrayal or depiction. Or well, this picture doesn't capture who our friend Etienne Murray was the day he died. He was going to a cookout over Morgan Barnhill's house. He was accused of stealing something. Beaten to death with a shovel and left there. Mm. The Walkie Walks don't know about this one yet, man. They can't. Because this is gold. This is gold. This is what Whitlock talks about, man. This is gold. The little microaggressions and tone deaf comments and all the other crap they jump on and make racial firestorms about and protest and have walkouts over. All the fake hate crimes that these people dupe, dupe many of you with. I've never duped. I always think it's a ho hoax and it usually in 99% of the time it is. But all of that and this happens and the wokey wokes ain't Crump ain't down there, and um, all the gliders in the a uh, hundred mile radius aren't being being called suspected glider supremacists, and activists aren't being flown in and every day and. Well, maybe, listen, maybe they need something to happen. Maybe they need him to be undercharged or something, some grievance. Because they have our friend Morgan Barnhill in custody, but that never matters. 
The glad of being in custody doesn't matter. It's more about the symbolism. The moment being used as a tool, the incident being used to say, hey, look, this is what's happening to us in America. This. Gliders are chasing us around the countryside with pitchforks and torches. And look, here goes a case that proves it. We'll be following this. R.I.P. Etienne Murray. Could you imagine if some gliders were like free, free Morgan Barney? <laughs> like they do every time a sun man kills another sun man. There's always some people on Twitter talking about some free so-and-so, free Pookie, free UV and Ray Ray. Could you imagine if some gliders was like free Morgan? <laughs> Oh, my God. Through the gut-wrenching pain, Gail pleads for this violence to stop. I don't even want anything bad to happen to him as far as I don't want him to die because I don't want any other mother feeling the pain that I feel right now. No mother should have to bury her child, especially to senseless violence like this. Mm. Barnhill's bond hearing is set for tomorrow morning, and the family tells me they will be donating Etienne's organs per his wishes. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.